Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're going to have a look at Harmony 1. So something I've not looked at since the summertime um, last year. Did a little bit of trading on it actually. Did some decent uh, decent trades, especially bot trades. I remember we bought into this when it was 22 sats. So even at this stage now, it's still up considerably since then. Um, but I've not really looked into it uh, for a while really. Um, so th there's some good things about it. But first we're going to have a quick look at Bitcoin. Just very brief overview. Because you can't really often trade at any kind of altcoins without understanding or, or at least anticipating what bitcoin is going to do and we're still in this descending wedge formation which is a bullish formation once it gets resolved but for the moment we're still within it yesterday we did i suppose peak our little heads just above it but there was no volume on it and no conviction of it so um it's it's come back within the formation so within this formation so we've got this blue descending wedge uh, pattern you can see there which is bullish when it's resolved hopefully it'll resolve to the up but most of the time they do and a, a, a it basically ends up being a breakout uh, but until then it's descending so it does mean lower prices are most likely and we've got this green level of support around about 31,500 ish ish area uh, which is the first level of support and then below there we've got the bottom level and uh, where we uh, bottomed out and also corresponds to these supports over here so, and that's about 28 29,000 give or take so the way that this is moving if we stay within the formation then it would suggest that we definitely would come down to 31,400 400 31,500 which is also the bottom of the Bollinger Band on the daily if that breaks down then yeah the bottom side will also be tested and maybe a little bit lower over time as we are in a descending wedge formation so I do favor more downside but overall this formation should resolve with a breakout but uh, we, we've been anticipating this yeah, I suppose accumulation if, if that's what you want to call it to take place over about three months as a minimum time frame and for the moment, we're still within that three month descending um, uh, pattern. So, yeah, probably got another month to go, I'd say, and well, until uh, this has a breakout or even a breakdown. Let's just say until the next area is resolved, whether that's to the up or to the down. At the moment, we still, I still feel like we've got a handle on it. There isn't anything bullish about this chart apart from this formation, which statistically does break out more than it breaks down. But that doesn't mean that, you know, just because we're having lower prices that we're breaking down. We're still within our inside range for the moment and the outside range. And a breakdown of this overall price action uh, would mean closures below 28,000. That's what it would mean. So if we start seeing lower prices, it's not that the price is breaking down out of a specific formation. We're still in within this what I consider to be an accumulation for area. And um, so people might start panicking, going, "Oh, we're below 30,000. Oh my God! Yeah, you can panic all you like. That's fine." panic if we start to close below uh, 28,000 that's when we can have a little bit of panic but also you know it's, it's worth pulling yourself back together again saying all right fine we're going to go into our lower range that's all it's going to go into it's going to go into a lower range and potentially a, a, a miniature bear market so maybe the breakout might not be within a three month period from the start maybe it will take a six month period well, but we're not there yet so we can only speculate so let's have a look at how many one then so something quite interesting about this chart is that this one reached its peak way before the breakdown of the crypto market. So there's a few altcoins that were like this. This is one of them. So the peak was over here and essentially been consolidating ever since. Now from the peak to the bottom, uh, and again, bear in mind that the peak happened before the crash all the way down to the bottom. That's a 78% retracement. Quite a lot if you think about it. Uh, but a lot of other coins, EOS for one, uh, more or less did a bigger move than that in the space of uh, about a week or two so this one's held up quite well consolidating before the collapse in may the may crash uh, i suppose if that's what we want to call it took place and then it did take us down further and then we seem to have found our bottom level of support here so i'm going to call it a bottom level of support not a bottom because we don't really know if that's the bottom or not but the interesting thing is that we've broken out of this uh, descending um trend line here um and sometimes when we see these formations like this again this is only a daily there's no bullish signs on it right now but when we see this it, it might suggest that we're going to go into a period of accumulation um, from this zone so we are above the 200 exponential moving average at this moment in time for the last few days we've broken above it and we're using it as a level of support um, and this is the building blocks i suppose of an accumulation but don't expect it to hold it's going to zigzag in my opinion zigzag around these moving averages until they start to cross in a more appropriate way so this is the center of the bollinger band here this this pink one here 
what we want to start to see is these moving above all these lower term time frames like the 200 and the 50 exponential and then all start to merge into one big mess and the, the price action will also be zigzagging up and down up and down up and down within all of that probably even at some point coming down to test the lower side of the range down here around about uh, five cents or so now if we try to anticipate where this is going to be resolved it's going to be impossible uh, to give an exact figure on it because accumulations can take ages they, they can take as little as a week they can take as much as oh, months many months you know before it's resolved to the up um, and and actually goes into a significant uptrend again i'm actually quite hopeful with the way that this chart looks but i'm not expecting a giant um, move from it anytime soon but what i am going to do is i'm going to monitor its progress because i like the way that it's uh, shaping up already in comparison to a majority of other altcoins um it looks pretty good um but it doesn't i've got to say it doesn't look bullish but it does look like the majority of the lows are in the lows will be uh, considerably more however if we break below five cents and if we break below five cents we'll come down further and we'll have to uh, re reshape this chart to try and get a, a handle on it but for the moment it doesn't look too bad but if bitcoin breaks down you know below 28,000 or so and, and and more then then this will obviously we'll have to re reshape this there's something interesting to note though is that yeah, back in uh, back in uh, a couple of years ago now, um, we were trading Matic quite a lot, and Matic and Harmony One are more or less the same thing, right? They all were launched roughly at the same time, more or less. They're all part of the Binance ICO or IEOs, and uh, they used to trend together. And um, I remember the um, the miniature bear market in 2019 as um as uh, bitcoin was coming down from its uh, 14000 to uh, 6600 bottom um we were we were able to trade matic successfully on the back of its chart given the chart its merits recognizing that there were some bullish indications on it and actually made a 3 almost a 4x trading matic uh, while the market was in a bear market so on occasion some coins do offer significant uptrends despite the market doing the opposite thing and that's not a very common occurrence that that you know we were quite lucky to to get in at the bottom of matic based upon these signals and uh, and and trade a, a 3 or a 4x type trade within a month um worth of price action while bitcoin was consolidating all the way down to the bottom so they were doing the opposite things so sometimes altcoins can offer you those sorts of rewards is really not very common but you know that that was something that we were able to do and I'm not suggesting that that's going to happen again it, it could happen but I, i'm not saying it will uh, but it's just worth noting that they can happen and we did do those trades um back in 2019 in a similar kind of environment to what's going on right now so um so that's why i thought i'd pick up on this chart with the way that it looks not that it looks particularly bullish but it does look a little bit different to a lot of other altcoins uh, despite the market being so horrendous uh, at the moment and being so undecided uh, indecisive indecisive so if we think about how this is going to work um, accumulations take a while there's no bullish signals on this right now but there is a building block of moving averages to which we're above most of them so we'll keep our eyes on it we're not going to get particularly excited about it but when this one goes into an uptrend, which I'm sure it will do eventually, maybe towards the end of the year, where we're thinking everything is likely to start to uh, to, to recover around September, October, November, it does kind of make sense that uh, Harmony One should be looking to resolve its formation and start to go into another uptrend around those periods. On the weekly, nothing particularly bullish on this on the weekly. But on the four hourly, if we go back down to the four hourly, what we can see is a small golden cross for what it's worth not worth much we're about to get the 200 across the 100 moving average these are simple moving averages so there are some signs here of strength forming um but none of these i wouldn't consider any of these buying signals uh, but they are looking quite promising as far as forming the building blocks for support at higher levels anyway i'm going to leave it with you there thank you for watching i hope you have a nice day take it easy